Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you how I created the Christmas bow using gel polish. So first things first, I'm gonna go in with Perfect White from Madam Glam, apply that to the whole tip and cure that for 30 seconds. I'll then go in with my second layer and cure that once again for 30 seconds. If you're using UV, you need to cure for two minutes. Once this second layer is cured, I'm then gonna go in with Madame Glam's Cosmic Sparkle and again cure that for 30 seconds. And then for the top coat I'm going to be using the Nail Lounge Collection Glossy Top Coat and this time I will cure that for one minute. So for the bow I'm going to be using Raspberry Explosion from Madame Glam. And all I'm doing is I'm just painting that onto some backing paper off my nail forms and I'm painting it onto the shiny side, not the matte side or else it wouldn't come off. Trying to do it as thin as possible and I'm gonna cure that for 30 seconds. Then I'm going over the top with Paradise from Madame Glam, which is like a holographic silver really thin even layer and again I will cure that for 30 seconds. Then once that was cured I'm going over with my top coat. I did try a few different top coats out and the Nail Lounge Collection was the only one that seemed to work um, with the others when I was trying to bend the little strips to make the ribbons um, it was just snapping whereas with this one it seems to have some flex in it so it didn't snap so i definitely recommend this one i will leave a link in the description cured that for one minute then i'm peeling it off the backing paper and just wiping the back of that to remove all that inhibition layer on the bottom and then just dabbing it on the kitchen towel i don't know why i did that but i did then i'm gonna go in and just trim the edges just to make sure they're nice and straight and then i'm gonna go in and trim these so that I've got my little sections for the ribbon. So I'm just going in, trimming them, making sure that I'm getting them all the same kind of width um, and also the same length. Obviously, if you want a bigger bow, you can do a longer length. That's absolutely fine. You can do the width different. This is just how I was doing it. This was a really quick filmed tutorial I had half an hour before the school run. I was like, quick, quick, quick. But we got there, we did it. So once I've got those, I'm gonna be using these little tweezers here and I just roll each strip in between my fingers and add a tiny, tiny bit of nail glue. And then using my tweezers, I'm just pinching those ends together. And that is as easy as that. That's your first little ribbon created. So I just go in and do the same method with every strip. And you only need a tiny bit of glue, less is more, honestly. You don't wanna use loads and loads of glue. And you just wanna put it right on the end where those two join as well, cause you don't want it to close too much. To apply these, I'm gonna be using my Glitterati Nails Glitter Filled um, brush and some clear acrylic and I'm just applying that where I want my ribbon to be and then applying my little ribbon pieces so the first four that I'm going to apply will be in sort of a cross um, shape and as you can see I just apply the acrylic as I go and then I will let them set up a little bit before I start messing around and pushing them into place I was going to use glue for this, but I think with glue, once you stick it, you can't move it around. Whereas using acrylic, you've got time to sort of move around and get them to where you want them to be. Then once I was happy with those, I'm going to move on to the next layer of the ribbons. So this time I'm going to be placing them in between each gap. Um, and we're going to make sort of like a star shape. It was quite fiddly, um, but it is definitely a cute little design. You can make them smaller, you don't have to make them as big. 
Um, you can do a design on the actual nail itself as well. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, I got asked a lot about how to create it. So I really wanted to show you all. And I did see this on a nail page, but I'm not sure of who the original tech is. But if you do know, please let me know because I would like to credit her for this because I think it's genius. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to keep applying these now until I'm happy. Um, you can go in and apply more if you want to, if you want it to be like a full bow without um, the crystal. But I wanted to have a little crystal in the middle. But you can create it into sort of like a dome, if that makes sense. Um, you just sit the little ribbon pieces upright. Um, I will try and get a tutorial done on that kind as well. Um, but I am going to let you guys just watch this bit because I'm blabbering on. So once I was happy with my placement, I'm then going in with a little bit of nail glue and I'm just pushing that into um, each of the ribbon parts just to make sure that they are definitely stuck. Then I'm going to go in, I'm just showing you here what it looks like. Then I'm going to go in at the middle with a crystal, again just applying that with nail glue. And then I, I'm going to show you how I created the little twirly whirly ribbon pieces. So really really simple you're just going to take a piece so the first piece that I use is the same width and length as the one that we cut um, and I'm just twisting that using my fingers just making sure it is a nice twist because it will unfold a little bit um, and then I take my tweezers and twist it around that and then pull out the end of it and you just want to keep twisting until you're happy with it So once I was happy with it, I'm then going to apply some nail glue where I want it to be. You can use acrylic um, for this if you wanted to, um, but I just went in with some nail glue. going to hold that in place for a minute and then just mess about with that until you're happy with it. Then I will also glue the other end to the nail tip as well, because if you don't, um, it will over time just unravel and just become a straight piece of set gel polish <laughs> um so i do go in and apply a little bit of nail glue and stick that end piece down as well 
Then I did go in with a longer piece, um, but unfortunately I didn't realise my phone had stopped recording. Um, but I did exactly the same method as I just used, just with a longer piece. Um, and I stuck that at the top of it as well. Then that is it. So it's a really cute design for anyone that works with gel polish. Um, you can do it in any colour you want, any size you want. Yeah, I definitely think it's a really cute idea. So I will leave all the links in the description box for the products that I use and any discount codes that I have for those products. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And I will see you all very soon in my next tutorial. Bye.